Hey everyone, so I thought I'd do a quick update video on some new critters. I know there's a few of you that have been wanting me to, to um, do a full tour, but um, as you can see there's quite a bit of animals down here. So I just haven't had the time to do it, <clears throat> but one of these days I will. But um, yeah, so let's see, a few days ago uh, someone contacted me on Facebook about some frogs that they needed to rehome. And, um, you know, me being a sucker for frogs, I couldn't say no. So I took them in, and what we got are uh, three fire belly toads. I'd never kept fire belly toads before. I know they're supposed to be like a beginner amphibian. They actually, you know, they get a lot of crap for it, it seems, among the the um, the snobbier hobbyists. But these are really pretty little frogs. I quite like them. And hey, you know, they were free, so. I got them. I got a uh, golden pothos planted in here. This is my first e experiment with live plants in a terrarium, so hopefully this goes well. Um, I do want to change the bin that it's planted in because this bin used to be for transport, so it's got all these holes in it, which kind of floods the box. I'd like it to be a little bit drier in there. But the toads don't seem to mind, and I don't know if the plant cares. Yep. So there's. One, two, and three. And they really like climbing around in there. It's a lot of fun watching them. I believe two males and a female. Tank is a 29 gallon. But uh, moving on, she also gave me a couple tree frogs. I think she was keeping them together with the toads and that's not something I want to do. Let's see if we can track them down without disturbing them. One of them was a green tree frog but not this one. This is the one I already had. And then there's this beautiful gray tree frog. Nice uh, nice shade of gray on her. It's like a uh, actually kind of reminds me of the gray coloration on my banded king snake. And I don't know where the other tree frog is, but it doesn't matter. Not a big deal. Yeah, look at her. And I believe that, yeah, she said the, the gray tree frog was wild caught when it was a baby. But of course, it can't be re-released. So, you know, good for me. I like great tree frogs. I always wanted one, but I didn't want to catch one from the wild. So I might as well just have somebody else give me one. And I might give it its own tank. Uh, we'll see how it goes in here with the two green tree frogs. But so far, so good. And moving along, that's it for the new acquisitions. But um, we might as well peek in on the baby beardies. I hatched these guys out about six weeks ago. Yeah, six weeks ago today, actually. For some of the older ones. A few of them took up to a week later to hatch. These are the smaller ones in there. And I'm keeping the bigger ones in here. But it's going to be time to start selling these guys. They're quite voracious and uh, depleting my roach colony and um, depleting my wallet all the crickets I have to buy for them. But yeah, aren't they super cute? I really do like, you know, feeding them, feeding them and everything, even though I might as well be just throwing money at them. And uh, this one is my favorite. I might hold him back. Put him down and focus the camera. But I really like the pattern on him. No idea what they look like. Patterns and colors are quite varied. But here's mom over here. 
that's Martha, and she'll get she'll get a video one of these days. Yeah, she's got a stubby tail. And the guy that uh, owned her previously adopted her like that. Yeah, she's a big, beautiful girl. And I guess I might as well show you Dad too. Walk around a little bit. <clears throat> yep, and there's there's Dad. Eli is his name. Hey, buddy. Both their cages are due for cleaning. I gotta get these carpets out and wash them. Oscar. But yeah, so that, that's about it for today, I guess. Um, oh look, climbed up right down there. <laughs> Quite nimble little frogs, aren't they? Um, yeah, so I guess that's it for today. Um, sorry for the lack of herping videos just haven't been able to get out there uh, hopefully this will satisfy you until I do and um, yeah keep an eye out for my my basement tour that'll be coming along eventually hopefully sooner than later right, thanks for watching <laughs>